Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to discuss California light switches and which light switches are illegal in California and which ones are legal in California. So this primarily has to do with energy efficiency regulations in California. We've got four light switches here, and if you know which one is illegal, go ahead and put it in the comments below. So one, two, three, or four, let me know which light switch is illegal in California. Okay, go ahead and put that in the comments and now we're gonna tell you. So if you guessed four, you're wrong. That is a legal light switch in California. If you guessed two, you're wrong. That is a legal light switch in California. If you guessed one, you are wrong. This right here, a standard on off switch is illegal in California. And you wonder why? Well, it has to do with energy efficiency regulations. So we've got three switches here. These are all dimmer switches. And this one is a dimmer occupancy sensor. Well, current California electrical energy regulations state that you need to put a dimmer switch in for residential lighting circuits and residential wiring. So these dimmers are all compliant. But a non-dimming light switch is no longer compliant, and that has to do with energy efficiency regulations. The intent is that a dimmer uses less electricity when the lights are turned down, or it allows the user and occupant to adjust the dimming levels to levels that will help you save energy. So a dimmer switch is legal in California. Now, these two right here are actually smart dimmers. This is what's called the Lutron Cassetta smart light switch, and this is the Leviton smart light switch. And what a smart light switch does is allows you to turn on and off your lighting uh, from your phone or with Google Home or Alexa or uh, even Siri in some cases. Now, you don't have to have a smart dimmer to be compliant with California energy efficiency codes. However, I would recommend if you have to upgrade from a standard switch like this, if you're building a new home or you're renovating or you just need to get through the inspection process, I'd recommend going with a smart dimmer because it offers so much more functionality than your standard dimmer. And really the cost is comparable for a smart dimmer versus a regular dimmer. Uh, a regular dimmer sometimes can run anywhere $35 to $40. And these are probably somewhere around the $35 to $50 price range. So you're going to pay a fair amount for a dimmer switch. But if you've got to upgrade, I'd recommend going with the smart dimmers because it's great to be able to use your voice to turn on and off your lighting, which I do all the time in my house, or to use your phone to turn on and off your lighting. And I've found that with smart dimmers, I actually save more energy because I'm more apt to turn on and off my lighting with my voice or from my phone when I'm sitting on my couch or adjust it down or up based on whatever I'm doing because I've got the controls right there or I can just do it with my voice. And yeah, that sounds lazy, but sometimes at the end of a long day, you know, you're sitting in bed, it feels like a lot of work to get out of bed and turn the lights off. So I love at the end of a long day being able to just say, Alexa, turn off the lights and uh, use one of these smart dimmers to turn them on or off. These things share the name lights. Which one did you want? I don't know if you heard that, but that was Alexa in the background uh, because I was talking about my light switches. So uh, with these smart light if switches, I recommend either one of them. Uh, we've, we'll want? put a list to uh, some of our favorite light switches below in a post we created about light switches. So uh, Lutron Cassetta, these are, nice. these are nice because uh, you, know, you turn them on and off here and then you dim adjustment right here. The Leviton, uh, these are a Wi-Fi smart light switch, so it connects directly to your Wi-Fi network. And uh, you turn on and off just by tapping the button and then dim up and down right here. Now, what is this last one? Well, this is a non-smart dimmer and occupancy sensor, okay? So this is just, uh, it's not connected to the internet or anything like this, but it's got an occupancy sensor down here and then a dimmer up top. So you turn on and off by clicking this and you can adjust the dimming levels right here. And then they have LED indicators on the side and obviously the motion occupancy sensor down here. So what is this for? Why do I have this one up here? Well, in uh, residential areas like your living room, kitchen, all that stuff, you've got to have a dimmer in California to be compliant. You can't have the on off switch, but 
In spaces that are typically unoccupied or have a low occupancy rate, which means you're not going to be there all day, um, are your garages, your utility closets, laundry rooms, and last one, bathrooms. Uh, they all have to have an occupancy sensor, which means a motion sensor activated uh, light switch in there. So it's got to be able to be activated by this motion sensor here. You can't have just a typical dimmer in there. You have to have these motion sensor activated light switches. And the reason is, is that they believe that people will forget to turn the lights off in uh, your laundry room or your bathroom or your uh, garage or utility room. So the intent is that these will automatically turn on and turn off the lights after a certain amount of time when motion is detected and then no motion's no longer detected, it will automatically turn this off. Uh, this one's set to automatically turn off after five minutes, but you can adjust that to like five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I think even up to 30 minutes. So this is called a Lutron Maestro light switch. This is not a smart light switch, but these two are. And uh, this is a occupancy sensor. So for California lighting, you've got to have an occupancy sensor in those spaces that I mentioned earlier. Bathrooms, garages, utility rooms, and um, laundry rooms have to have this, an occupancy sensor. For other spaces, you can have a dimmer switch, smart or not smart. However, I would recommend the smart dimmer. So we'll put a link to these three switches below, but just some information for you. If you live in California and maybe you want to go do a project, or you're building a new home and you wondered why can't you install one of these light switches, one of these illegal California light switches. So overall, the intent of the energy code is to save energy. Um, you've got a lot of people in California, electricity and generation is expensive as well as uh, transmission is hard in California. And, you know, they have had problems with wildfires out there uh, with the transmission line. So the whole intent is to reduce the amount of electricity that is being consumed, which, you know, decreases the amount of fossil fuels which are being used, uh, which is turn more environmentally friendly, uh, as well as energy efficient. And uh, as a consumer can help you save you save you energy. And then on top of that, uh, anytime you can reduce the amount of energy, the end consumer is utilizing, it can sometimes reduce the amount of infrastructure you have to have for transmitting all this power, as well as, uh, you know, some of the negatives that can happen with that, such as a uh, forest fire or uh, anything that's related to how much consumption is going on with uh, the electrical grid and the fossil fuel usage. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up. Uh, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support us, uh, we've got a link below. Uh, buy me a coffee, or you can click on any links below for any of these products uh, to help support the channel, or visit us at onehoursmarthome.com if you want to learn more about smart homes and smart home lighting. So thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video on uh, illegal California light switches and California energy efficiency code. So this primarily has to do with lighting. And the last part of it is you should have a LED light bulb, uh, high efficiency light bulb in your uh, fixtures. So that's really important too as well to save energy. So make sure you put in dimmer switches or occupancy sensor and then a LED light bulb. Thanks again.